YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we are going to be making these keto turkey and cauliflower stuffed bell peppers. So let's get straight to the video. For today's ingredients, you're going to want a couple bell peppers. Whatever colors you choose is fine. This recipe can make up to four bell peppers. You're going to want some ground turkey, some rice cauliflower. Usually I make my own, but I love this frozen one just for something quick and easy. So if you want to use fresh, you can also do that or just use this frozen riced cauliflower. One small diced onion, some pepper jack cheese. I am going to shred this one or you can just use the slices for on top. One can of diced tomatoes, some minced garlic or you can just use fresh, some olive oil. And for our seasonings, we're just going to use some basic salt and pepper. So first step we are going to do is cut our peppers. So you just want to wash them. We're going to take a knife and just cut off the tops. After you have your cut, tops cut off, you're just going to clean out the inside. And you just want them like this. Now you just want to get a small baking dish and we're going to take some water and fill it about halfway up. And then you just want to place your peppers in. And then you want to take a piece of foil and you're just going to cover them. And now we're going to pop this in the oven and the water is going to help soften them and bake them so they're not so crunchy when we eat them. I place my peppers in the oven and you just want to bake them at 425 degrees for 20 minutes. While our peppers are cooking, we're going to start cooking the ground turkey. So you just want to get a small saucepan and we're going to heat it up on a medium high with some olive oil. After your oil has heated through, we're just going to toss in our diced onions. And we're going to cook these down until translucent. After your onions are midway translucent, I'm going to add one tablespoon of the minced garlic. Now you don't want to burn your garlic, so you just want to cook it for a couple of seconds. And now we're going to add our ground turkey. You want to season your ground turkey with some salt and some pepper and you could add any other seasonings that you may like in here and just cook it through after your meat is cooked through we're going to add our rice cauliflower and we're just going to cook this down for a couple minutes after about two minutes we're going to add our diced tomatoes and I did drain some of the liquid you do want to season it with some more salt and pepper we're just going to let this cook down for about another two minutes. Now we're just going to turn off our heat and start stuffing our peppers. So I took my peppers out the oven. Just going to open them up and they should be nice and tender. And now I'm just going to drain off this water. After you have drained out the water, we are going to just start stuffing the peppers with our meat filling. So just push everything towards the bottom and stuff them as much as you can. Now remember this recipe can make up to about four bell peppers. I'm just making two today because it is just for me and I will save the rest of the filling for another day. These are also great for meal prepping. After you have stuffed your peppers, we're just going to top it with some shredded pepper jack cheese. After we have topped it with our cheese, we're going to pop it back into our 425 degree oven just until the cheese is nice and melted. After a couple minutes, your cheese should be nice and melted. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of parsley flakes on top. I just like the way for parsley flakes looks on food and it gives them more flavor and a little bit of color. And let them cool down, cut up, and enjoy. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video of my keto turkey and cauliflower stuffed bell peppers. I hope y'all give this recipe a try. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook. I will link that in the description below along with all the ingredients. I'll see y'all in my next video.